Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. We have a lot going on on the screen here. In this video, we're going to go over our Apex funded challenge, current update of where the accounts are at. In this series, I'm basically taking uh, 18 Apex accounts and I'm trading them with my own two live accounts for 20 accounts total using a trade copier and I'm just documenting the journey from the start. So I picked up all $50,000 accounts from Apex and I've had most of the accounts for just over two weeks now. I started the first video last week and um, basically the account balances were at 50,000 or 51,000. Uh, one was at 52,000. That one that was at 52,000 is now a PA account, as you can see at the picture at the bottom here. Uh, so if you didn't see the last video, I'll link it up in the cards now. And that was the start going over my strategy and how I'm going to get funded. So if you've already seen that, you'll know that we've made about just over $1,000 in profit this past week on all the accounts. So next up to get funded and become a PA account is this one here, 52,400. And if you're not familiar with the rules, I'll explain now. So with Apex, you have a $2,500 trailing drawdown, which means that if you take a trade and it's in profit and then it becomes a break even or a loss, that actually counts towards your loss. So if you're up a thousand and it goes back to break even and you get out, it, it essentially counts as like a thousand dollar loss because of the trailing drawdown because you're in profits. So you have to kind of take your profits and not let your runners run when you're in this stage. And then you can trade different after that. But once you get to 53,000, so 3,000 in profit, then it becomes a funded account uh, if you just have to pay an activation fee. And if you're curious on how that works, you can let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a full video on that. Now that we have one funded, we can now start to take withdrawals after we make some profits on this. And uh, with Apex, it's interesting, you can only take withdrawals twice a month. So the next time it could uh, ask for a withdrawal would be about uh, December 15th to December 20th. So we'll see if we get our first withdrawal before the year ends on these accounts. Uh, you just have to stay tuned. So subscribe if you want to see the weekly updates on these accounts and I'll show you the balances and the trades I took to make these profits or these losses. Here is the uh, certificate of funding. Uh, there's my name, 50K Trade of Eight account for that one. And um, we'll get the rest of them funded. So I am trading 18 of these and then two of my own live accounts. So that way I'm able to capitalize on everything. And I'm using Apex Trade Copier that allows you to copy trades on up to 20 accounts. So that's why I have 20 accounts. But we're gonna just document the journey and see how that goes. So everything's going good so far. I know I am using uh, one or two contracts per trade. So very little, uh, honestly one contract for most trades. I'm primarily using the five minutes and using one minute for, for sniper entries essentially. So we'll go back to uh, some trades. Um, I started the video Monday night. So Tuesday we took a loss and uh, it was a tough trading day for me. Uh, Wednesday, uh, here are some trades. So Wednesday on, on the five minute, I, I went for a long. I thought we would come up to fill a space to the left after we got this engulfing candle and uh, we didn't. So we got rejected, uh, took a loss. Then the second trade of the day was a short and uh, we came up into resistance to the left and put our stop above the most recent swing high and targeted new lows. So that was a win and we're a net uh, winner for the, the day on Wednesday. And essentially what I do is I trade about like two, three trades a day and then if there's more trades I wanna take, I'll only allow myself to take it on one account. I won't copy it on all of them. And I notice for my strategies, if I trade more than two contracts, then there's a risk of losing the accounts. But if I stick with one or two contracts, then the risk of losing the accounts is very small, unless I go on some full tilt and just over trade. But uh, that's why I have rules for max amount of trades and we call it a day. Oh yeah, one more thing. I trade 9.30 to 11.30 and no entries after 11.30. And this was at 11.30. So this was the cutoff we got in the trade, just targeted resistance to the left instead of new highs because of that exactly. You know, I didn't want to wait all day and because I'd be leaving and I'm, it's, I didn't know if we have enough volume going into lunchtime to take out the highs. So we took a one-to-one -one here, 30 points, targeted resistance to the left, and that was a very clean trade. We took this one because we were in a bullish market structure, sold off into the order block to the left, got some buying, and uh, just took it and uh, put the stop at the lows. Pretty straightforward trade there. On Friday, Friday was a good day as well. I took some scalps on the one minute chart uh, that we won't really see here, but I'll go over the one you know, obvious trade that was great. It was uh, this trade here. So we had the open, big push, pulled back. I took in some scalps long on the way back up here on the one minute, and then uh, they're still bullish, came back into this uh, support to the left, and I liked how we put in a higher low uh, reversal candle. So 
Got it in long on that close, stopped below that low, and uh, targeted the resistance to the left. Very similar to the last trade that I showed you the uh, Wednesday, I think, and took profit. So those trades with just one contract uh, allowed me to make uh, just over $1,000, and uh, that's why the accounts are sitting at uh, 52000 or 51000 Some of them are sitting at 50800 So this is what we're working with going into the week, and... Subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. I'm going to post a weekly update again at the end of this next week, and we'll see where the accounts are at, if we're up or if we're down. Either way, I'll go through the thought process and explain the trades I took and why I took them. So if you like these kind of videos, hit the thumbs up button. I'm going to share the journey to getting the payouts from these accounts. We'll just have to follow along and uh, see how the trading goes. Look out for my next video coming out uh, Wednesday or Thursday night. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.